What's up guys, Kim is here along with Little Green Man and Buckshot. Today, we're gonna to be taking a quick look at these, this Pac-Man series of videos that we're doing right now um, of uh, some Pac-Man decals. We mentioned these when we were doing the silhouette lights. Um, these are from a company called Prime Decals. Um, you can actually get these. I've, they've popped up on my, on my feeds for quite a while. And uh, I actually had a need for them. Now you can get these in different sizes. Um, this isn't the mega size, there isn't the size above these that you can get as well. Um, they do a bunch of different decals. You can get like Mario ones, Yoshi, there's all kinds of stuff. So, um, gonna try these out because they'll kind of go along with the video. I mean, not the video, the uh, lights that we have. Hopefully they work out nice because I needed really dots. Pac-Man dots. Some of the fruit and a couple of ghosts, a Pac Man. Oh. Right. oh my god, that's so weird. Uh, let's see here. Right. Right. In case we're variety of flat, smooth surfaces, peel and stick. Alright. Let's do the transfer masking tape on the decal. So, so construction. Alright. Unroll and lay the decals flat. Make sure the surface is clean dry for optimal quality installation. Make sure your home temperature is at least 70 degrees. Okay. All right. Nice. Oh, here's something here because we just did recently paint. Make certain the surface has dried completely before applying the decal mats. For recently painted walls, please allow 30 to 45 days for the point to keep the paint to cure. Holy well, um... well, well. So I may not be getting these on the wall right away. Yeah. Um, we are gonna get, we are gonna show you what these look like on the wall, but obviously the unboxing and the actual application is going to be a little delayed on these. Oh, wait, you just finished this one? You just finished? Yeah, and literally. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Maybe so that's quite a way ahead of us. Please give it five star reading that see print the caps. Okay, let's take a look at these. We need scissors. Nope. <laughs> More are you liking the look of these? Okay. All right. So yeah, these are the traditional style. Now, okay, that was a, here's another thing too for you guys. Um, you can get these in a different. You can get these in different styles. So you can get them in like a modern Pac-Man type deal where they not they're not pixelated. Or you can get them in a more pixelated form. Yes. So we're doing them in a pixelated form. Okay. Um, I don't know how many of the ghosts I'm actually going to use. I might use some of the other colors because we have a bl we have two blues, and for the silhouette lights, and, and the a red, red and, the and, the, and the pac, pac man. man. Yep. So probably would be you know, and on that actual display. Now these seem a bigger. A little bigger. Yeah. No. So uh, here's the dots. Dots should work out about right. Power pellets yeah. over here. Yeah. Four. Right. So four power pellets and four dots you get. Three, four, five, six, eight. Two, four, eight. Okay. Two, four, eight. No. Yeah, yeah. So you got 48. 48 you get about, it looks like you get about 48. There you go. Uh, and you get the fruits. Yeah, fruit. Ooh. There you go. You get a strawberry. You get all the fruits, really. You get the cherry, orange, apple, apple and strawberry. strawberry. Nice. Okay. okay. And now these, okay, when you get them, they actually just look like they just peel right off of them. But we don't want to peel them off. Right? No, I don't want to peel them off yet. But uh, when we go to apply these, after we let the paint cure, <laughs> um, you just peel these off. And I guess I read that you should be able to reapply these. Oh, so you can take them off and put them back on. I think I think they want it uh, so that way when you, if you were to take off, they wouldn't peel the paint off your wall. Yeah, so we'll see once we test these out. But that's what they look like. Um, but if you want the you know a little smoother, now these are more that less look like almost like the Atari ones. You get them on there, but um. I didn't know Pac-Man had eyes. Yeah. Yeah, it is a little odd that they'd have them have eyes in there. You know what? I th maybe the Atari one. Possibly the Atari version of these, you know, but mainly I really wanted these dots. 
Yeah. And I can put a few of the ghosts around mm -hmm. too on there. But, so actually, we're going to show you what these look like um, on the wall. So that'll be next in about uh, 30 days, probably. 30, <laughs> wow, wow. Like that. But for you guys, it'll be Just right like after that. this cut. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. All right. Well, that time has passed. We actually got them stuck on the paint. Actually, pretty satisfied with how they came out. Needed the uh, dots and the power belts, and I think they uh, worked out nicely for what I wanted. Um, we did use some of the fruit. So we interacted them with some of the uh, other Pac-Man pieces we had. Uh, kind of wrapped them down around the arcade machine here. Kind of framed some of it. But I have to say, I am definitely satisfied with how they end up sticking on the wall anyway I want to thank you guys for tuning in and uh, tune into our next episode of Meanwhile in the Man Cave talk to you guys later bye bye